Hello everyone and welcome to week 22 for STEM, Developing Possible Solutions. This week, we will build prototypes of solutions for design problems and test them out. You will insert a picture of the prototype you build and type out how well it works. Those are the two things you need to do in this box and this box. But let's look back at how far we've gone. To find the problem, do your research, develop a possible solution, design your solution, build a prototype, test it, evaluate your solution. Read so fast, these are the seven steps that we are using for the engineering design process. We have been working through the engineering design process for the last few weeks. This week, we are working on creating prototypes of solutions. This is something engineers do as they follow the engineering design process. You will want to build a prototype and test it. You will insert a picture of the prototype you build. You will also tell us how your prototype did when tested. It is not necessary to use any specific materials. In fact, big shout out to everyone in the past, big shout out to everyone in the past couple of weeks who used different materials than the ones listed. That was awesome. All right, so there you go. That's what we're doing this week. A quick uh, look through. This is slide three. You could do this slide. In this slide, you need to figure out how to build a device that gets water from this cup into this cup while you are standing at least six feet away. And then you need to put a picture here and type at least 10 words telling us how well it works over here. In this slide, um, if you choose to do it, you need to build a flotation device or something that will protect someone who falls into piranha infested water. Now I put a bowl here to show you that this, you only need to build a prototype of what would happen. You don't actually need to go to a river filled with piranhas and try out an actual device. Um, so you can test this pretty easily in a bowl like this. Put a picture of your prototype here and put a uh, quick summary of how it works or did not work over here. A quick note. Uh, a prototype does not have to work in the engineering method. If it doesn't work, people just go back and refine their prototype. Um, your prototype does not have to work. You just need to build it and it needs to be, you know, actually a prototype, not like one piece of paper just laid in there or whatever. Um, if you want more instructions about how to do any of these uh, slides, there's always a video up here in the corner. Do one of these sources. Okay. If you want to do this slide, um, you need to build a device that would protect a raw egg when thrown into the air at least 15 feet um, and coming back down. You will insert a picture of the prototype that you built over here. Insert a picture of yeah, the prototype. All of the slides should say that. Of the prototype that you built. Um, test your solution. Oh, it does say prototype over there. Test your solution and then tell us how it tested over here in at least 10 words. And then there's a quick video if you need more instructions there. Fortunately, pick the thumbnail with my face on it. Sorry if it gives you nightmares. Um, okay. What have we got here? Oh, if you don't want to do any of those other three slides, you could do this slide. This slide, you just go ahead. There's a bunch of directions, but basically you watch this video where I go through the entire engineering method, engineering design process. And then you click here and there's a quiz. You go take that quiz. And if you get at least 100% on the quiz, then you will be good to go. Yeah. Oh, and if you don't get 100%, you can watch the video again um, for information you missed and then retake the quiz um, as many times as you need to. Make sure you put your full name uh, on the quiz uh, because if your full name is not there, um, I might not count it. Because I need to know who took it. Anyhow, see you in Zoom. Um, if you want to come and drop by Zoom, um, go ahead. Uh, I'm glad to help you with any work um, and answer any questions you have about STEM. All right, have a great day.